Well, hello everybody. Thank you for stopping by. They call me Kay, and it's a pleasure to be with you here today. We're going to be doing Let's Look at Bartender Hustle. Yes. Now, if you listen and you hear that music, it probably sounds familiar, right? If you are familiar with Metro Sim Hustle, like most of you are here on the channel, most of you subscribers, and how we are having so much fun with Metro Sim Hustle, well, you already know. This music is right from it, right? Uh, the same developers that brought you Metro Sim Hustle have now brought you, or is bringing you, Bartender Hustle. Bartender Hustle is not out right now, but we are playing a demo of it, so that's why it's a Let's Look At, and it's gonna be added to our Let's Look At series. So this is a Let's Look At Bartender Hustle. Um, and what is it? I'll give you a brief description here. Craft divine refreshments for a flood of clientele while you hustle your way to the top as a bartender, exploring a variety of bartending venues and meeting in diverse set of patrons again it's by departure interactive the same people that brought you metro sim hustle so if you like metro sim hustle maybe check out this game you can go ahead and actually download the free version or the demo version for yourself if you want to go ahead and uh, <laughs> get a little spicy with it as well so right off the bat here at the main menu i'm seeing story mode arcade mode and a sandbox mode which is all new right it's, it's you don't get that in metro sim hustle now i understand bartending can be a very um right it's like a what are you supposed to do right i mean is it supposed to be open world like uh like my metro sim i have no idea but let's stop talking and let's go ahead and jump into this game now before we do anything else i just want to make sure that i have all the settings correct that i have and i do not want to have motion blur on we'll turn that off <laughs> Okay, other than that, let's go ahead and jump into a new story. Well, as far as we can go, right? As far as we can go into Bartender Hustle, because it's only going to take us so far. So, if you guys want to see this and turn into a series when it is officially released, let me know by, you know, commenting down below or even just hitting the like button. You don't even need to comment. You can just comment down below or hit the like button. That's a silent comment, right? For the most part. Anyways, so this is Dominique. Hello, Dominique. Tonight's, oh my God, the subtitle is very, very small. The text, my freaking forehead. Hang on a sec. Time out, time out, time out. Forehead in the way, forehead in the way. <laughs> All right, sorry about that. So, Dominique, tonight's the first night of my new job. Bartending could be fun, but I'll need to rat ratchet up my skill. The last time I mixed a drink was in college. It's been two months since my last internship, and I need to make some cash to pay my rent, or I'm begging for change outside by the metro next week. <laughs> You know about that dude you're gonna go straight to the derelict building the manager said to show up at 10 a.m for a training session i better get moving so it looks like we play as dominique here which is kind of you know kind of cool right yeah so the assets and everything in this game is just directly from uh metro sim hustle i mean obviously right and that's that's okay like metro sim hustle is like really fun and really good um oh baby so I, I you know I, i'm i'm kind of i'm kind of getting that jittery feel oh look at this the tv actually works in this game compared to the others or compared to metro i'm gonna compare this to metro sim a lot so it looks like we have a forecast of flooding um so at least they display a picture now on the tvs that's kind of cool right you can hear like rain effect that's really nice what else can we do can we interact with the with the shower no not yet toilet we can flush the toilet and we can turn on the sink cool microwave same microwave everything else is is just about the same all right let's just go into the story dude as you progress successfully through your career you will unlock new bars oh new bars like an actual bar 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 Anyways, July 24th, 1950. Uh, oh my god, look at this man's face. Hello, Oscar? Os Oscar? Um, oh my god, look at this. Oh my god, this looks so complicated already. Alright, so hello. Oscar. Great, you're here, just in time. You'll be making a couple drinks here for me to start off. I need a bartender who can learn quickly. I've got my hands full running my new restaurant down the street. Let's start with something simple. Grab a, hey, a highball glass and... Dude, the music is bumping too loud. Grab, grab a highball glass and fill it to the top with pale ale beer from the beer taps, then serve it to me. Okay, highball glass. I don't, I, I don't drink, I don't... I mean, I do occasionally, but not like... All the time? I don't know what all this stuff means. Highball glass, what the hell is that? I think I can handle that. Watch this. 
Okay, applications. So the music player contains a library of songs and custom playlists for storing your favorite songs, okay? The recipe book contains all the cocktail recipes, including directions and ingredients required. That's good. You can open the music player. Okay, that's weird. You kind of show off, like, ingredients and music at the same time. Ingredients. All the liquor and liqueur uh, required to make cocktails during your shift are stored in a speed rail in the speed rail at the front of the bar. Other ingredients such as ice, juice, syrups, and garnishes are held in the refrigerated section in the bar. The beer taps can be used by placing a high ball glass under the tap and pulling the lever. You can reset a bottle to its initial position by using right thumbstick and discarding the garnish. All right, I'm gonna pretend like I know exactly what that said. Equipment. Glasses are available on the counter for mixing cocktails. You can discard glass by using the middle mouse button. Okay, some cocktails are required to use of a shaker. To use a shaker, pour in the required ingredients, shake it, and then pour the contents of the shaker into the required glass. If required, the mixing spoon can be used. Oh my god, dude, this is too much for me already. I don't know what, what, to, what to think. So, pale ale beer. That's all we need to get is a pale ale beer. That's a straw. We don't, we, we, we don't put... We don't put straws in our beers. Okay, there we go. There's the highball glass. Oh, wait. So you got the Collins glass, wine glass, shampoo, shampoo, champagne flute, cocktail, and then a rock. All right, so we'll take a highball glass, and then all we need to do is put it on the beer, right? Pale ale. Yeah, pale ale, please. Uh, put it right there. Thank you. It's so clear, it's like you can barely see it. And then let's go ahead and pour him a drink here. All right, so it's... Oh wait, I have to hold it down. Oh, that's cool. I like that. I like the fact that I have to hold it down, and I like that it shows the ounces. That's really good. I would take a nice pale ale. Yeah, nothing wrong with that. Now, can you overflow it? That's a good. Uh, let's try it. Let's see. No, it doesn't overflow. Overflow. It goes to an exact eight ounce. I dig that. Okay, so let's give that to Oscar. Here you go, sir. Nice one. Correct glass use. Perfect liquid volume. Pale ale beer. Correct liquid ingredients added. Oscar tipped you a dollar. Thanks, Oscar. All right, we start to get busy at this time of night. I bet you'll uh, see your first customer soon, but you'll need to know how to mix a proper drink first. Go ahead and make me a screwdriver. What the hell did you just say? You can refer to this recipe while you're mix mixing the cocktail. If you overpour slightly, don't sweat it, but your customer might not tip you as well if the drink isn't perfect, and they'll reject your drink if it doesn't contain the correct ingredients. Okay, so we're gonna be like doing a screwdriver? A screwdriver? I've, I made a few of those in college. Let me see if I've still got it. Coming right up. Okay, highball glass. Can we put that down? Oh, we can. Cool. Highball glass. Orange juice. Holy freaking, you're looking like you had a rough day. Port, that's probably not like right to say to our customers. Now, wait a sec. Where's the recipe? How do I know how much to put in? Can I just put in until, like, can I just make you a glass of orange juice? <laughs> that seems like too much, dude. Okay, put the put the orange juice down. Where's, the, sir? Where's the recipe for a screwdriver? Um. No. <laughs> okay, vodka, I guess. Okay, orange juice and some vodka. Like, how much vodka do I put in? I don't know. What kills someone? I have no idea. Hopefully not too much. Like, that looks like a lot of vodka. I'll be honest with you. Orange juice and vodka? Is that what the screwdriver is? Ice? Do we put ice in there? Wait a sec. Tab. Oh, tab. Oh, oh here we go. Okay, here we go. Uh, ice. All right, so let's put some ice. No. Give me ice. Do I have ice? I can't tell. Okay, put the ice in. Okay, put the ice thing back. Four ounces of orange juice. Okay. Okay, we only have one and a half ounces, so we need four ounces of orange juice, two ounces of vodka, and that's pretty much it. So, orange juice and vodka, that's apparently what a screwdriver is. Okay, two ounces of vodka, please. Well, at least we did that. That was kind of correct. And then orange wheel. Add an orange wheel. What? Is that this? Orange wheel. Yes, add an orange wheel. And then a medium straw. Really? There's sizes of straws? Well, I guess that makes sense, actually. You don't want a large straw in a freaking cocktail. There we go. All right. And then, do we serve that to him? Nice. Okay. 60 cents. Like, honestly, don't even tip me. 
if you're gonna give me 60 cents. Anything below a dollar, don't even tip me. Okay? Hello, uh, oh, it's, it's, Fet, uh, it's Fetlana. She's actually in Metro Sim. Hello, it's Fetlana. My name's Fetlana. Uh, my order is a red beer. Easy enough. Ah, the strong silent type. My name's Dominique. Your order, my command, coming right up. Oh, you're sounding kind of, uh... <laughs> yeah! Uh, okay, so, red beer? That's all she wants. That does not look good. <laughs> I'll be honest with you. The the pale ale looked fine. The red beer, though? I, okay, so, I think I've had one red beer in my life. And that stuff hits different. I had it with a burger or something, I think. Oh, here you goes, Fetlana. Again, anything below a dollar, don't even tip me. I find comfort in this establishment. Uh, pretension is not here. Not like most places. I come here only one week. Or I, I come here only one week ago. I came here only one week ago. Need to fix that. And I still look for work. But building relationships. Difficult. From where I come from, uh, there is no interest in reality TV and designer handbags. Fishing with my family in Sosnovka. Sosnovka? The small place where I grew up are my fondest memory. I have a new order. One gin tonic, please. Oh, ho, ho. you looking for work? You look pretty tough. I'll see if my boss will let you hang out by the front door and keep all the blacklisted boozers out. But for now, one gin and tonic coming your way. All right, so let's see what we need for a gin and tonic. We need a uh, highball glass as well. Okay, so she wants a screwdriver and a, um, and a gin and tonic. So fill it up with some ice. Then we need some tonic. Where's the tonic at? Got it? Oh, well, we need some gin, I guess. Put some two ounces of gin. I don't even know what tonic looks like. Okay, almost. I don't know if it, like, will go over. I don't think it will. Okay, it's good. It's good. It's good. Okay, so gin is done. Where the hell is the tonic? Oh, there's the tonic. Is the tonic, like, kind of like a club soda, maybe? I don't know. How much is this? Four ounces of tonic. A lime wheel and a medium straw. Whoops. I almost did it. Okay, lime wheel in a medium sh oh my f i went over all right well she's not gonna like that all right so it does um it does go over so there's a lime wheel let's add that and let's grab a medium straw which i'm glad i'm glad that it goes over because then you actually have to be you know it's a it, it's a it's a skill thing right there you go yeah unacceptable liquid of volume tonic yeah it's uh it was a little bit too much right too much tonic i, I understand so hello oh dude this is the this is the robot guy right wait do i need to make another tonic i gotta make another tonic you get okay so what you're getting like a free drink or something out of this that i, I don't appreciate that one bit there uh Svetlana. okay let's not overdo it and there okay 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 now the tonic Okay, four ounces of tonic. Nothing more. Okay, okay, slow it down. Okay, there you go. Then we add... Crap, we need ice. Okay, add the ice. The music is banging still in this game. Lime wheel. Medium straw. Get served, nerd. There you go. Great. Anything under a dollar, like I said. Leave me alone. Svetlana wants to play tic-tac-toe. What? This is awesome. I love tic-tac-toe. No, you will not win. I will beat you. Look at this. You're done. You're done. I got you. You're done, dude. Get out of here. Get out of my restaurant. Get out of here. You don't need this. You don't want this. Uh, Jean Claude. That's his name. Jean Claude. He's the robot guy in Metro Sim. Jean Claude. The calculations I have performed on your demeanor as I entered this establishment indicated that you are of a class belonging to novice mixologists. I will offer you the opportunity to prove my intelligence as faulty. Make my old favorite from when I was writing my thesis paper on advanced robotics number 028, a rum and cola. Yo, I know a lot of people that like a rum and cola. A man of clarity. I don't find your lack of faith disturbing at all. One perfect rum and cola on the way. Okay, perfect. That's... That's, uh... You know, <laughs> yeah, that's selling it pretty high there. We just started, so let's go. What do we need need for rum and cola? Well, we need some ice, obviously. We need some ice. We'll give him some ice. We're going to need a cola. So we have a cola. How many cola? Three and a half ounces of cola. Have some Coca-Cola, Coke and rum, right? So we'll give him that. 
Oh my god. Keep going. 902, you're a winner apparently. I don't know what that is. Okay, there you go. Um, and then he wants two ounces of rum. We're gonna give him some nice rum. I wish I could like put this stuff back. I think I might be able to. I'll have to check. Oh yeah, I think I can. I can reset this stuff. Because our like table here is getting a little busy. Ah, damn it! Okay, so it looks like we got a little bit too much of rum in there. It's an ounce. It's like 0.1 ounce, dude. Don't, give me like, give me a break. Lime and juice in a Coke and rum, really? I never heard that before. That's interesting. Come on, a little bit. A <laughs> little bit. Oh, I can't fill it anymore because it's all... Oh, oh, no, I can't. Never mind, never mind. Okay, so there we go. Lime wheel in a medium straw. So this is not going to be perfect. And, it, you know, it is what it is. It's going to be 0 0.1. 0 0.1 off. Acceptable. It's acceptable. It's not too bad, but it's acceptable. He did give us an over dollar tip, so I love that. Thank you so much, Jean Claude. Eyes you are using is too cold. The implications of such errors could lead to, uh, holy crap, I don't even know this freaking word. And that word, too. Uh, it's just an impediment of being human? I suggest you upgrade your refrigeration unit to one that it uses a deep learning artificial intelligence component. Now prepare me a red wine. I'll be sure to I'll be sure to put in a work order for some, for this, that sometime. Here's your red wine. All right, so this should be this should be easy, right? Just grab a wine glass and fill it with some red wine. Where's my wine at? Is it behind me? Where do we keep the wine here? Oh, right there. Red wine. So five ounces, just a full glass of red wine, right? It should just be full glass. Maybe, maybe not. Okay, nope, it's not going to be a full glass. It's going to be a little, little, little. Come on, one more ounce. Or one more point ounce. There we go. Okay, okay, place it back. Can I reset these? Reset. Okay, yeah, you can. Okay, we're going to reset everything. Kind of clean up our area a little bit. Because um, we just have stuff everywhere. Okay, there we go. And then we'll give him a nice red wine. $2! Nice! We got a $2 tip. Don't worry about the dogs. Their mom's home. Danielle's home. She's fine. Shift completed. All right. So that was kind of cool. That was kind of... Dude, there's like a beach here. I want to be on the beach. All right. So we're finally home. That was training, I guess, for what it's worth. We don't have like a health bar. We don't have a food bar. We don't have a, a bathroom bar or anything like that. Not yet. Again, this is the demo. Everything could change. Definitely could change. Now what do I do? What do I do? Oh, do we, do we exit again? Do we go outside again? Or do we check the weather? No, we turn the weather off. It's going to be raining forever, I guess. <laughs> Yo, can we go in our closet? No. Okay, so no, no, oh. Okay, none of this, no, none of that. All right. Okay, I guess maybe we leave again? I, I don't know. I have no idea. I don't know what's going on. Okay, so we're back here. July 25th, 957 at Oscars Pub again. So I see you're doing well here. We received some positive customer reviews last night. I'm gonna leave you on your own in a moment, but uh, I'll need you to make me one of the cocktails first. Just this one is a classic, a martini dry. You'll need the shaker for this one. Okay, so we're gonna shake it up, baby. Uh, this is turning out to be a lot more fun than my last relationship, or sorry, my <laughs> than my last internship. One martini dry coming your way. <laughs> I've never had a martini dry. Like, with, like, an olive and whatnot. Like, that'd be kind of cool one day. I don't know. I'd like to be a grown-up sometimes. Uh, cannot add... I oh, what? Oh, ice to the shaker. Okay, put the ice in the shaker. And then we want, um... Yeah, we want two and a half ounces of gin. Put some two and a half ounces of gin. Dry vermouth? I don't even know what the hell that is. Okay, uh, two ounces of... Two and a half ounces of gin. Now, could you imagine now this game with, like, motion blur? I can definitely see where they could use motion blur. My God, that'd be insane. So 0 0.5 of dry vermouth, vermouth, ver vermouth, and then an olive. Give me a, a green olive, please. There they are. A green olive. Do I just put it in there? Okay, and then what do I do? Oh, I need to add all the liquid to the... Oh, you freaking d dingus. You add it to the shaker, then you shake it, not stir. Don't you know the reference? You should know the freaking reference. Good God. All right, try again. Try again. I apologize. Give me two and a half ounces of gin. 
Putting that in the shaker. I know. I'm a freaking forehead. Yeah, freaking forehead. Now, I, I am blocking a little bit. What the hell just happened there? I am blocking a little bit of the ingredients. Uh ingredients list with my head I, I i now realize that and i apologize for that hopefully it's not too bad all right so then we get the uh we get the dry verm vermouth i don't think we add the olive to the shaker no we add that at the end yeah idiot okay 0 0.5 no 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 0 0.5 there we go okay now we shake it shake it okay that's not how you shake it this is how you shake it okay shake it shake it how, how more do we have to shake it? Like three times? Four times? And then pour it? Pour it into our uh, martini glass? And then we add the olive. And this should be good, right? This should be it. No, no, no. Don't do not do that. Empty? Okay, just... Can I place it? There we go. And then let's grab an olive. And then do that. And then serve the man his cocktail. Nice. Okay, cool. Alright, so that's how you do that. Alright, so let's work with here. Natasha! Hey, Natasha. Is it N Natasha... Natasha Brentley or something like that? First, I was late for work. Then, I got turned down for a lunch date. I figured I'd come here. What's the worst that could go wrong at a bar? I might be here for a while. Just give me a screwdriver, please. Don't overfill it with ice. Okay? There's more that could go wrong here than you might expect. Anyways, uh, let me get you that screwdriver. And bartenders, depending on, you know, what kind of place you go to for a bartender... Bartenders are, are kind of like, I don't want to say like a social worker, but, uh, or a ther or like a therapist or anything, but uh, a lot of people will, um, like talk and like read, like just hash it all out, right? They'll, they'll just like hand it all out to, uh, to bartenders sometimes. And that's kind of, kind of cool, but like, you know, it, I don't know. I guess it's like a neutral place, right? A, a safe place to go where it's like, you know what? I can tell this person probably anything. And that's that, right? Plus, when you're drinking also, I mean, you, you kind of you seem to spill the beans a lot more often, right? All right, so four ounces of orange juice here for the screwdriver. One more. No, one more. One more, please. One more. No, no, one more. Okay, there we go. Okay, there we go. And then an orange wheel with a medium straw. Orange wheel with a medium straw. There you go. Now, I am impressed by how, like, bartenders just, like, memorize every single thing, right? It's part of their job, though. I have so much on my mind. I'm working with a new colleague. I can't deal with her. I'll do anything to have her fired. Oh, and when is when is this rain going to stop? I'm going to have a heart attack pretty soon if I don't get some vitamin D. What? I like to have a cosmo... No, I'd like to have a cosmopolitan now. Okay, this is going to be kind of spicy. Reality is just an illusion that occurs due to lack of alcohol consumption. <laughs> I bet this cosmo uh, cosmopolitan will ease your worries. Okay. So do I have to put this in the shaker? Yeah, I have to actually put this one in the shaker. Oh, hello. oh it's Jean Claude again. Hello, Jean Claude. All right, so shaker. Add ice to the shaker and the, all, all the ingredients. So what is this? Um, what did I pick up? Lime juice. So how much lime juice? 0 0.5 lime juice. Okay, there we go. Got the lime juice in. We need some cranberry juice. How much cranberry juice? 0 0.5 ounces of cranberry juice. I can see why this is called a cosmopolitan now. Uh, one ounce of triple sec. What the hell is triple sec? Okay, one ounce of triple sec. Oh, baby. Almost overfilled it. Come on. Come on. There we go. Okay. And then uh, one and a half ounces of vodka citron. Vodka citron. Okay. And then I'm going to shake it maybe once, twice. How many do I need of vodka citrus? Okay, one and a half. I need to pay attention to that. Don't want to overdo it. Okay, there we go. Okay, grab it, shake it, and then add a lemon twist to it. Okay, we can do that. Two shakes, pour it out. She'll love it. Oh, dude, that looks so cool. With the cranberries, or cranberry juice. That's kind of cool. All right, then place it. Grab a lemon twist. Not a lemon, no, okay, so not a lemon wheel. A lemon twist there we go there's the twist add that there cocktail and there you go thank you so much and then hello jean claude what would you like to do the downpour outside is relentless and is not exhibiting indications of seizing within the next 30 minutes until i acquire my metallic dermal sheath i must shield my primitive human skin from the from the rain and its harmful contaminants 
Uh, this is the reason why I have once again found my ent entity under the roof of an establishment. I will now order a tequila sunrise. One tequila sunrise coming right up. My guy didn't even have like, he didn't even have a, have a response to that. He's like, whatever. One tequila coming up. So this is going to be three ounces of orange juice. Three ounces of orange juice, please. And that's the thing, like, even bartenders, they have, like, eye measurement. Like, they don't have an indicator showing them, hey, this is, uh, this is this and this is that. No, they got, they got to do it with their eyes. An ounce of grenade iron? I don't even know what the hell this is. Again, I, I have no idea what most of this stuff is. Uh, tequila, what? Tequila Blanco. I know tequila. Two ounces of tequila? That does not sound good. <laughs> I'll be honest. That does not sound good. All right. Well, tequila by itself doesn't sound good. I mean, obviously, tequila by itself doesn't sound good because it's not good. All right. Add a cherry. And then an orange wheel. And then a medium straw. There we go. Cool. And we'll serve that one up, too. There you go. I'm missing the freaking ice. I am so sorry. That's a beautiful picture, though. <sighs> Your forehead. Hold on to that, my man. I will get you here. It's okay. I got you. We'll put the red in first. I overfilled it. I overfilled it. I'm having a hard time. Try again. Okay, first things first. Orange juice. Three ounces of orange juice. Okay, almost. Almost. Okay, there we go. Three ounces of orange juice done. Bring in the ice. Ice is in. Now, two ounces of tequila. Two ounces of tequila? Okay, slow it down. Slow it down. Not too much tequila. Don't overdo the tequila. Good God Almighty. Just put it in there. Please? Okay, there we go. Two ounces of tequila. One ounce of grenadine. I don't... Again, whatever this is, but one ounce of it, that's not an ounce. Okay, 0 0.8, 0 0.9, okay, there's the ounce, okay, now, step away, put the cherry on top, with the orange wheel on the side, and then a medium straw to go with it, there we go, are you happy now, two dollar tip, he's happy, okay, Svetlanka, how are you, Svetlanka, as I meet people in the city, I know people here expect everything perfect. Perfect life, perfect health, and other places, challenge of life expected as regular state. What we entitled to what we are entitled to is nothing. This is not my place to be, maybe. So my order is a spritz spirits venicino. I I don't know. Well I'll keep your glass topped up as long as you are here. Okay. Whoa. Sparkling wine? What do we got going on here? Okay, so a rock glass. So we need some ice. Add ice to the rock glass. And then do the uh, sparkling wine. Okay, we'll get some sparkling wine. Two ounces of sparkling wine. Okay, slow it down, partner. Okay. Almost. Okay, there we go. Sparkling wine. And then she needs a half ounce of soda this actually sounds kind of cool half ounce of soda and then italian orange liquor and an ounce of italian orange liquor oh that makes it look cool you ass you ass hat <laughs> you messed up dude again all right try it again hang on we're just getting used to it it's very hard it's very difficult to try to like stop the flow when it's going. Okay, almost. Okay, that's fine. Put that away. Grab the Italian orange liquor. Put one ounce of Italian orange liquor in. Okay, almost. Don't overdo it. Just just be conservative. Just there you go. Play it smooth, dude. Play it smooth. Okay, half ounce of soda. Play it smooth. Okay, there we go. And then we want an orange wheel and a small straw this time. There we go. There you go. There you are. Nice. 
All right, so thank you for trying Bartender Hustle. The upcoming full version includes a story mode with five unlockable bartending venues and a variety of unique patrons to meet. Hundreds of ingredients to mix of a library of cocktail recipes within, a fast-paced arcade mode, plus a sandbox mode for testing your skills against the global leaders. For the latest updates, make sure to wishlist and follow Bartender Hustle. Bartender Hustle. But that's going to do it in today's episode. I hope you guys enjoy it. Well, it's not really an episode. It's more of a let's look at Bartender Hustle. But uh, yeah, I think this is pretty cool. I really love how they mix the characters in uh, with the uh, with Metro Sim Hustle and all that. So that I think that's really cool. Um, and, and, you know, the kind of the characters are still in character, right? They still act like the same character as in Metro Sim. So, yeah, that's going to do it for me. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys did, please make sure to hit that like. And I will see you in the next video, wherever that may be. For all of you, not just a song to listen to, something to give you hope to hang on to. I'll be your pocket full of sun.